let's talk about adding your services and products into your brand. This all takes place within the packages section in your templates. Now I know when you hear the term package, you might think of a cruise vacation where you get the four day ocean view room upgrade with the all you can eat and drink package, but a package in Dubzado just refers to a template for line items on an invoice. A package can be a single product or service, an add-on, an a la carte item, or it could be multiple products and services grouped together. As a business owner, if you offer standard set pricing or offer completely custom work, packages are essential for both. So let's dive in. First, we'll head to templates, packages. You'll notice that I already have some packages pre-built as an example, but feel free to either edit or remove the sample packages that come in your account. To create a new package, click add package. Make sure you add the name of your package at the top of the screen by clicking on the package name. Package names don't appear on client invoices at all, so feel free to use your own naming convention here to help you stay organized on the back end. We'll also talk about a cool way to organize your packages at the end of this video. Next, click New Line Item. This is where you'll add the actual product or service you're offering. This section will be visible to the client, so name the item clearly. You can also add a description for greater detail. If you want to include multiple lines with bullet points, you can toggle that option on here, then just hit enter to start a new bullet. Now, to be honest with you, I hate math, but let's talk about how the subtotal works for a second. The quantity times the price equals the item's subtotal, so you'll want to enter a value of at least one for the quantity, even if you're offering a service and don't think of your services as products. For those of you with set pricing for your services and products, creating packages should be pretty straightforward. You can create individual packages for each of your main services as well as for any add-ons or a la carte items you offer. Now, business owners that do custom work, I haven't forgot about you. If you do completely custom work, you should still take advantage of packages as a starting point. What you'll do is create what we like to call a base package at the template level, which acts as a placeholder for right now. And then when you're working in a client's project, you can customize the details of this package for each individual client as you are creating their invoice. Even a simple template to start with can save you time in the long run. And lastly, here's a quick organizational tip for you. After creating a number of packages, you can rearrange them in the packages list by dragging and dropping each package into the order that works best for you. Since we currently don't have folders for packages, you can create cool headers to help organize your packages. All you have to do is make an empty package and drag it to the beginning of each section. 